Well, guys, my dividend portfolio just hit a all-time high. We are now above sixty thousand dollars. We're actually over sixty-two thousand, which you'll see in a minute. But I'm just making this video to show you that we hit an all-time high, and we're getting closer to that hundred thousand dollar portfolio this will be a quick little update video for you guys we're going to go over the total of my portfolio what's in it also going to take a look at the individual portfolios that make this up and just a quick overview of them so if you found value in this content go ahead and let me know by hitting that little red subscribe button or just drop me something down in the comments let me know what you think about my portfolio and uh, let me know where yours is sitting as well so hopping into gitcoin we can see that my portfolio is sitting at sixty two thousand four hundred two dollars and forty two cents as of today and i would show you my weekly monthly and yearly on here but this is not showing you the correct numbers it is showing you the correct overall number as we can see right here but it's not showing you the correct numbers because for some reason gitcoin did not log them properly so i had to go in and manually change certain numbers when it came to certain positions now i want to show you all of my positions that i hold in these three portfolios that make up the total of this the first one being webull which only sits at 3000 the next one being Fidelity, which only sits at 2700 And then the majority of this, which is Robinhood, which makes up about 56000 of this. So taking a look at this, and again, if you want me to go into further detail on all these positions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do a full in-depth portfolio update and break down what's going on with each of these positions. But this is a quick little overview for you guys. So Alphabet, I have 100 shares and I'm up about 20% on realty income, 117 shares, I'm up 17%. Uh, Apple, 31 shares, I'm up 55%. Main Street Capital, 105 shares, I'm up 16%. SCHD, 140 shares, I'm up 6%. Coca-Cola, 47 shares. I'm up 15%. Visa, I own eight shares and I'm up 6.16%. JP Morgan, 10 shares, up 46%. RTX, 14 shares. I'm up 96%. And then one of my big busts as of, uh, as of right now, anyway, Amplify Alternative Harvest ETF, 500 shares. I am down 44%. Again, this is a marijuana ETF. I'm going to hold this for the long term. It looks like whatever president we get in this next election, they're both talking about making it federally legal or at least federally decriminalized. Next, we have Exxon Mobil, 13 shares. I'm up 3.92%. Robinhood, 52 shares. I'm up 35%. Microsoft, three shares. I'm up 4.55%. VOO, two shares. I'm up 0.6%. Nextstar Media Group, five shares. I'm up 47.69%. Lowe's, three shares. I'm up 28%. A Bitcoin ETF, 14 shares, I'm up 26%. This is the Ethereum ETF, I own 20 shares, I'm down almost 4%. I do own a little bit of Bitcoin and a little bit of Ethereum in Robinhood. So this is what I have here. I'm up 7% on one, down at 9% on another. Johnson & Johnson, two shares, I'm up 6.31%. Uh, this is another Bitcoin ETF. For some reason, it is not showing anything here, but that's okay. We have FDVV, one share I own, and I'm up 3.45%. And VTI, I own 12% of a share, and for some reason it's showing that I'm down a bunch, which I'm actually not, because I don't even own a, an entire share. And then this is an, an op, some options we got going on right here. So yeah, that's just a, a, a ballpark of what's going on with this portfolio. I do have a lot of things that's up and a few things that's down. You might say, why do you got so many positions? Well, it's because I have different portfolios doing different things, just experimenting and seeing. Of course, the main one is Robinhood. And then we have the Webull and then the Roth IRA, which is much more straightforward and conservative. We're going to take a look at that right now. With my Roth, I only have a Bitcoin ETF, VOO and SCHD. Webull, I have... Two Bitcoin ETFs, uh, Ethereum ETF, and then Robinhood, 52 shares of that. And then, of course, Robinhood holds the majority of my holdings. You guys know if you're not new here, if you've been watching me for a while, you should know kind of what's sitting in my Robinhood portfolio. So hopping into Robinhood just real quick on my phone, I want to show you what it's looking like year to date. So over the past week, I'm up 1100 bucks. Over the past month, I'm up 1600 Past three months, I'm up... Uh, over you know maybe just about 1100 
year to date, I'm up 15%, close to 15%, so $7,300. Over the past year, I'm up 25%, so $11,300, which is awesome, right? That's great to see that much money that we're up. And looking at Webull, I just want to show you year to date, we are about 20% up year to date. And if we look at the year, the past year, we can see that I'm up about 48%. So much, much higher with this position or with this portfolio. I do a little more active trading with this portfolio. That's why a lot of options and some swing trades. And then taking a look at my Roth IRA with Fidelity, we can see again, we're at 2,700, only got the three ETFs in it. We can see over the past month, I'm up 4.22%. So I pretty much beat all of the indexes over the past year to date, though, I am down compared to some of them, but I'm up 19.68% over the past year. I'm up 31%, which is awesome. And then my all time is 34.49%. So I'm up quite a bit on this uh, Roth IRA. And I think I started this last year. I've been putting very small amounts into it, just a little extra money here and there just to build it up. And as you can see, I've pretty much been doing that the entire time when it comes to investing. I'm now at $62,400. And this is just the accounts I show you guys. I do have other accounts that are private that I do not show you because those are for me and not for the internet, right? But $62,400 from majority of just dollar cost averaging small amounts over time. There has been times where I'll add a lot of money at one time, but those are far and few in between. I'll invest about a thousand dollars a month. That is a couple hundred bucks a week. It hasn't always been like that. It's mostly has been very, very little amount over time. I'm just getting to the point around this year where I'm able to put a lot more money forward because I've built myself up like this over time. But that's what I want to show you guys. We hit a major milestone. F's in the chat. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Do you think I'm going to be able to hit 100,000 by the end of 2025? I don't think I will, but we're going to try our hardest to do that, right? We are past the halfway mark. So let's see how far we can go in the shortest amount of time. But that's all we have for you today, guys. Hopefully, I was able to edit this video down short and sweet just to give you guys this little quick short update in this milestone video i'm not sure what i'm going to call it yet but i'm sure it's going to be something like that shout out my cat if you never noticed this this is me fighting my cat i really appreciate you guys i hope you appreciate you know me showing you this whole reason why i started youtube was to not only hold myself accountable it comes to personal finance and investing but to hopefully inspire someone to show you you don't need a lot of money to do it or you can start at any time. You can be any type of person. Any, anyone can do it at any time. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you gain value out of it, again, let me know in the comments below. Or go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button. Or even just hit that little, you know, thumbs up. Hey, if you want to see my breakdown of SCHD post split and what you need to know about it, go ahead and hit this little video right here. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. Peace, love, and prosperity.